All right, guys, so in this video, you're getting ready to see how I do a little mini makeover on this wall because I need some extra space. So this video is to show you how to create extra space for the low, okay, low, low price. So right here is my side of my wall next to where I edit and do all my work. But the funny part is this wall is a little bit damage why because i've had a lot of stuff that i stuck up here that kind of um when i took it off the tape and different things kind of pulled the paint off the wall so i'm going to be doing some sanding i'm going to be doing some more painting i'm going to paint probably this whole wall just to have it one even look and my goal is to get these things like this off of my desk so i can have them sitting like any shelves so i've been looking on amazon and different places like that but then i thought about it duh look it i had these and they're old they've been in this box under my daughter's bed for forever we couldn't find a place to put them in our room and we never took them back i said oh, i can use these so let me show you guys what these look like and uh yeah i want to put them on the wall like one a little bit further over like that but down like maybe uh oh in this area right here one like right here and then the other one I want to put like up here you know you know boom and then boom that's what I want to do so and that's just to get the plant this and that off the dresser because I have two laptops which I'm actually putting stuff on and this is the type of stuff I have to do because look my space is very limited I have all types of equipment and I just feel like everything is compacted so we want to get this wall nice and refreshed so that I can put these up. And I like these because they're actually nice size. So you definitely want to put a um, uh, anchor in it so that way you have, oh, Lord, gee, oh, the back picture is so much better. See, this is why I don't have space. This is why the back picture looks so much better. So I'm going to get a little shot of that if I can while I'm doing this. Hold on. I think that that's the way it looks and isn't that really cute but the only thing i don't like is it basically misleads you because these are not this color for one and then the side of the board does not look the, like the top of the board let me show you guys what i'm talking about so this is everything that comes in the box the two metal legs so you're only going to be putting up two anchors and two screws the instructions what you really don't need and then it comes with the anchors and two screws so sorry for the sanding the dust i have on here so you really don't need those but look this is what i don't like this is what i don't like it's not real wood so it looks like mdf or whatever so i may have to paint this so i'm thinking about painting it like a black or whatever on the side but I'm thinking it might soak up the paint. So I don't know. I might need to use like a latex. I'm not sure. But I still think it's going to be cute if I put these up here. And mind you, that stuff won't be there because one of the, that will be on top of here. So, and it'll be out my way. So maybe like boom, over there out my way. And then the other one will be up here. So that'll be out my way as well. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just recording from my phone, not on a tripod. So let's get into this video and let's get these shelves on. All right, guys, we're going to get the roller and the sanding block out, and I'm going to sand the area. Using the sanding block is so much more easier than um, using a sander. It creates less dust. Now I'm taking my finger and putting it in latex paint, and I'm putting it on the first board, and I just opened up the other one to put it on there as well. This MDF board was sucking up the paint, and that's kind of how it goes with this MDF board, but you shall see what I decide to expose. Continue watching. Always wipe down your wall after sanding. Now it is time for your girl to paint. So just watch me work. So um, my camera's getting low. I'm going to hit like around the edges. And then after I do that, let it dry. The next part will be me hanging up the shelf so you can see them. It's not a tutorial on how to paint, but this was some more footage to throw in it because it would have been a quick video. So let's stay tuned. Well, you keep watching. I'm going to paint. Okay, pause, guys. Someone was ringing the doorbell like crazy. It was Amazon, so that's why your girl sounds windy. All right, guys, so I'm gonna tackle this area as well. This is the area where my plant is usually over here. 
I'm not sure. I may get a chair. I don't know. I'm just, this is where I usually sit to do my um, inspirational videos for the CPR vibe. But you guys are just going to watch me. I got to get my actual ring light over here and just watch me sand and repaint this area. I'm afraid this paint is probably going to look so much more brighter because this wall, it's time to actually paint it. But I'm going to go in, sand that down and probably paint this and paint over to here. I don't know. Maybe he'll finish the rest later, but just to get that all one color. And then there's some lines from when I put those mirrors up that I want to fix right there. So you guys will see all that in this video. So just stay tuned. All right, guys, I did not put protection down on my rug, but I've been doing this for a while. And, you know, sometimes I still get oops and little mistakes. But I would recommend if you are new to this to make sure that you protect your carpet, floor, surfaces or baseboard before painting. All right, so while this side was drying, that's when I went over to paint the other side. Now, when you're putting anchors in, you want to get a drill bit that is about a little bit bigger than the actual anchor so that the anchor can slide into your drywall. So this is where I'm struggling because I was trying to hold it, level it, and make dots. And I'm like, how are you gonna do this by yourself? So I had to get Rizzy to come up and help me because I got the little leveler on there and it just kept falling, guys. So yeah. Um, it was a scruggle, a real scruggle, okay? <laughs> but anywho, Riz is gonna help me. We're gonna move on. This was heck trying to hold those up. As y'all see, I was struggling. So I had my baby come up and I, little Rizzy, and I put it up and she helped me while I held it and put the little leveler thing on it and made the circle so I can put it up. I think I'm gonna paint these all the way white. I'm not sure exactly right now, but yeah. I painted one side white, but I don't think I like it. Um, because this MPF board is kind of sucking it up. So after I put them up, I'm going to see how I feel about them. And probably in a couple days, I'll probably change it. And they'll probably be in this video because I'll know within a day or so if I'm going to keep it like that. Or even tonight once I get it up. So it'll probably be in this video if I switch it up and change them all white. So you guys will see. But the, the wall is painted all over here. You can't see the imperfections and stuff that were down here. Everything looks a little bit more cleaner and nicer. So yeah, I guess you could just let me see what that is. Make sure I get everything in the camera. Okay, that's the whole watch me put them up and this is the hole for the bottom ones okay i'm in the camera all right y'all If you're ever putting anchors in and your anchors do not go in, just get a hammer and just tap them in lightly. If the hammer does not push it in, that means the hole is too little or the space behind the wall is not enough for the anchor to go inside flush. So I had to put this up this way because technically when I read it, it's backwards. But in order for it to look right for you guys, that's what I had to do. So yeah, now I have the space. I'm trying to debate if I want to put the salt lamp up or just leave the salt lamp down. I have some crystals I want to put up there. I'm going to put those up there as well. Let's see how this looks. Now guys, I'm thinking because of the cord, I'm going to just leave it there, but it frees up lots of space on my desk. So let me get it together. I'm going to actually share with y'all how it looks um, once I get it together, but then I'm also going to share the daytime because it is dark outside. So just stay tuned. So these are the before pics showing what the desk looks like with all the stuff that set on my desk. I had no space and you can see the imperfections in the wall and all that nasty stuff that we fixed. So stay tuned and see what it looks all right, like. Alright guys, so it is the next day and this is what they are looking like. And yeah, I love it. So now I have more space on my desk. So there's both of my computers. And as you see, they're both Lenovo. I love Lenovo. Their products are amazing. So yeah, that's my editing computer. And this is my other computer that I had to replace. My one that I lost from our trip in St. Louis. So yeah. So yep, yeah, I'm trying not to face the window because it'll get black. But this is what I'm working with. And I love, love, love them. They came out beautiful. And you can't beat $5 for these shelves. I may just keep them this color. Um, they're not looking bad. So I may just keep them this color. But yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I told you I was going to show you in the daytime. So this is what they look like. And see, now that the camera is this way, I forgot to turn that. But I did turn this around. Let's see. There we go. Looks much better. <laughs> All right, guys. Talk to you in the next video. Later, Gators.